Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo De Biaggio, I'm 24 years old. Hi everyone, my name is Greta, I'm 25 years old, I was born in Florence. Hi everyone, I'm Benedetta Camerra and I'm 22 years old. Hi everyone, my name is Zoluta Ragazzo, I'm 23 years old. My name is Mara Russo, I'm 29 years old. Hi, I'm Gilda. I come from Venice, I'm 22 years old. I am attending the third year of BA course in fashion design at the European University in Venice. And after the scientific diploma, I moved to Venice where I earned my degree in architecture and where I currently live and study fashion design at UOF. And now I'm attending my last year of the AMA course here at UOF Moda. Uh, I was born and raised in the province of Vicenza, Italy, and uh, I'm currently a third year student in fashion design at U University in Venice. I live in the province of Venice where I study MBA in fashion design at U of University. I'm from Catania, Sicily, and I'm a fashion student at U of University in Venice, and for me this is my last year of studies. And I am a fashion student of U of University of Venice. It was a challenge for me, I wanted to approach somehow the world of fashion in a more accurate way. When I learned about UOV, I enrolled in the entrance exam without asking myself too many problems such as whether or not I'd been accepted and without have tried any other admission test. Being a UAP student is like being a part of a secret research outpost. Still few people know our institute in my opinion. But for us students it's like an advantage. As we were fashion years in training, we need to take action when nobody expects it. Anyhow, being a UAP student means, like any other serious design institute, a lot of sacrifices, starting from no longer have social life, lol. Arriving to nights and days of constantly work behind tasks, pattern making, sewing, layout tests, and visual research. We are like any other fashion students, but in Venice. I have always been interested in fashion. When I decided to attend the BA in architecture, I wasn't sure that fashion could have been something more than a passion for me but my luck was to find some U of Moda students that contacted me for modeling um, in their final collection. So this gave me the opportunity to know this department from the inside and I became friends with some of them. I started to confuse it and a certain period of my life. I wasn't happy and had just left uh, the faculty of agriculture and uh, veterinary medicine at the University of Padua. Uh, I spent a lifetime uh, studying disciplines such as biology, algebra and analytic chemistry until uh, just before I retired uh, I, a colleague of mine looking at me said I know about a university of fashion that I think is right for you. Here you are just wasting your time. It's okay. Uh, I didn't know what uh, I'd be working into. Surely I was approaching uh, a world that totally went out of my comfort zone and that would change probably my life. So I was aware that if I had passed the test, the course uh, would have been hard. But honestly, uh, I didn't have uh, so much of uh, hope given the number of members compared to the number of places available. And also I had no experience and I didn't know if I had the real potential. Compared to now, I had a shocking immaturity. And sometimes I wonder why I had tried to enroll Sometimes uh, I say to myself that it was the right things. Fate or luck, after three years since I was admitted, I can say that uh, I never thought uh, it would be so hard. Um, yeah, I'm truly in a display. 
fashion design curves offer the opportunity to assimilate an important knowledge of fashion system because the yes, student to learn a historical study, um, magazines, publications, a research space, and mood bars. So uh, we practice a lot of 2D and 3D modeling. This cycle leads you to the creation of fashion collection, so I can say that students develop a personal and a professional culture too. I think this are a reason why I studied this education. Also, we have one of the most important libraries in Europe, and this is a great opportunity for our studies. There are many um, design academies, both public and private, but as for universities, those that have a fashion course are very few, and uh, Europe is one of them. This is one of the reasons why I decided to move to Venice and start this journey. Being a fashion student at Europe means spend a lot of sleepless nights to finish your work and in the meantime having to study for the other hexam. But I think that at the end of the course, the most important things that you learn is the way to tell your personal story and to express your, your style. I enrolled to Europe because uh, I, th I think that the studying fashion should not be an exclusivity of uh, who can pay a private university. Europe doesn't appear between the top 10 list of European fashion schools, but I can assure that comparing with other students from universities considered excellent, we are not into empire. The technical level of Europe laboratories is very high, in these years, I learned to do shoes, dresses, uh, uh, pattern uh, or bags in every part of them. I'm so happy to be a U of a student. I have already answered many to this question. For what concerned the period of social isolation from March to May. As in all moments of creation, I try to refuge me in the imaginary world. The more you think about it, the clearer it will be. This gives and gave me the possibility to create and arrange the way I want, exactly what I want to create. By the way, especially in this kind of situations, feeding your imagination is fundamental. So. When I have some free time, I love to watch movie or sci-fi fan films on YouTube or sometimes gameplays or games I can even afford. Well, anyhow, when I start the university, I also start to collect various visual books from punk culture, streetwear culture, sneaker culture. Having a personal library is a good starting point if you need some instant inspiration to draw on. Catch up with them in Magazzino 7, that is the reign of view of moda, and I felt really fascinated by the atmosphere and the way of working was special and everything was so inspiring, so after my degree in architecture I was sure that I wanted to be part of uh, that world. Initially wondering how we will deal with the final collection, but uh, once it starts, there were no kind of problems. Because probably I'm a compulsive accumulator of both images and material of all kinds. Uh, I could and can draw from whatever surrounds me, since uh, I only work with upcycling and it's my obsession. For me, uh, evaluating uh, first of all the material of any kind available around me that can be useful is the first step to start a project. So in fact, uh, for me it was uh, a further opportunity to demonstrate to myself and to others uh, how much waste and the most 
the uh, unexpected object uh, have to offer. In particular, uh, my beloved in bit list of uh, 90s and 2000s anime, especially Mecha, uh, and my multimedia warehouse, if we can call it like that, they were enough to feed my creative process. Honestly, in these months, I've tried to do a sociological analysis of society and have developed a more sophisticated and process towards sustainability and the importance of digitalization, in particular 3D world. I'm doing a study that questions the modification of body and the relationship between body and space and how space affects body. Me in this period was not difficult. Uh, I spent my quarantine in Sicily at home and this helped me a lot. During this year, Sicily has always been my muse for my project and for my aesthetics research. So I lived this period as if I was living in an artistic residence in the place that I love and that always inspired me. I'm really surprised. Uh, in this period for um, how I managed uh, um, my creative process uh, and uh, for uh, what uh, I created uh, because uh, we are working for final collection and uh, of course uh, it's so difficult work uh, or a project uh, without um, have or touch or of materials but uh, i believe that in our house uh, there are many hidden objects uh, or uh, objects uh, that uh, have been forgotten or never considered that uh, can uh, excite uh, your creativity I think a uh, fashion designer wasn't uh, the maid uh, being forced uh, to stay home. Uh, it is uh, inside him uh, the need uh, to invent uh, himself uh, in every circumstance uh, again, again and again. So I understand uh, that uh, being closed at home is so stressful but uh, i think uh, we are so lucky to do these jobs uh, these uh, wonderful jobs as long as my university is a public institution it takes orders directly from the state so if this one i mean the state does not give the support of or any kind of indication to its own institution, be it a school, hospital, or universities, they can't ensure anything to the people they rely on. Luckily, fashion community is so open and well disposed to face up to the situation. And seeing a lot of artists and designers taking this moment has a period of learning, inspiration, and learning of new realities and learning new way of create kind of own world, maybe learning how to video editing, like I'm doing right now, or simply improving their abilities in pattern making. Mm, every time I'm asked to start a new project, I realize that I need to think up a story, a path to follow, and so it's easier for me when I frame an Im imaginary. I need to do a lot of visual research from my iPhone library, my downloads, my this the salva folder on the desktop and uh, before starting to draw i need to focus on a red thread that has to be found in every in every silhouettes it wasn't easy to work away from school without friends without the help of the technicians without the suggestion of the professors and i need the support of my school of course sure and uh, in there we, we feel a community and we stimulate uh, each other to do better so even a bit of competition helps us uh, to do more so yes i miss all of this in the past month question number four so 
So the teacher of my university course uh, immediately tried to find a solution to carry out uh, the program established uh, online uh, in an online way. So in essence, the semester was addressed in an alter alternative way with the online platform, both to communicate with the professor and uh, with the colleagues for a group project. Uh, consequently, I didn't feel neglected because I was constantly connected both if I needed help and also to collaborate. Uh, in the laboratories, not being able to easily share the material produced manually, uh, I have experienced uh, and experimented uh, much more in the use of uh, a digital program acquiring uh, greater security and competence, which I think uh, is an increasingly important skill. I think uh, it was an important period of personal and collective growth and I didn't metabolize it uh, as a negative experience. Uh, I also thank my family for being close to me. Uh, it's not easy to live month in close contact between uh, many certains and, I don't know, individual stress. Having a comfort zone, especially for those who have to work uh, creatively, I think is essential, uh, especially in a quarantine. I think that this change has not been easy for everyone, but at the same time, my university has managed to maintain a professional level of teaching thanks to digitalization. Mm -hmm. This makes me think about why technology should be a discipline that accompanies all the institutional service of society. Has adapted very well to this situation. I still prefer the traditional way to do the exam and uh, lesson, but almost all the teacher has been very good at supporting and reviewing our online project uh, with patience and empathy. In this uh, difficult period, I felt uh, very supported uh, by my school and uh, my community. We don't uh, think uh, this uh, situation uh, like an imprisonment, but uh, a small sacrifice that uh, guarantees uh, uh, everyone suffered it. Veneto was uh, one of the first red area affected by Covid uh, in Italy and uh, our uh, university is uh, located uh, in Venice but uh, when the situation started uh, to uh, get serious you have understood uh, uh, straight away and uh, in the last uh, two weeks of uh, February we are already studying an online course. It has already happened to answer this question and among the many crisis scenarios that are arising, the reorganization of work will certainly create further delays on deliveries and production causing additional costs that will aggravate even more the economic condition of the company. Smart working has certainly ensured that the various companies do not uh, get stuck completely. However, as we know, the approach to digital world and the real world are two different things and require different timing, especially if the work of one requires involvement in the other. As we all know, and as everyone in the fashion system says, yes, this sanitary emergency is already affecting the fashion industry. I think for the good, and I hope it will turn out more sustainable and for the environment, and I think it's only the beginning. Question number five. So, uh, sincerely, uh, I hear many people say that uh, this will make uh, businesses uh, from uh, the smallest to the multinationals uh, more aware of how unhealthy the fast fashion is, forcing them to change course, or how we need uh, to find the more eco-sustainable and safe methods for the worker uh, regarding the production chain. 
personally uh, the only thing I know is that uh, there are warehouses full of unsold cereal all over the world and it's still not clear to me if the spikes, the seeds or other method it will be sold or eliminated in you know, who know what way Personal experience don't make me have much confidence in order, especially if uh, environmental protection and exploitation of developing countries uh, in the name of profit, or profit uh, are involved. I'm of the opinion that uh, in a short time things will return to be not uh, much different from uh, before the quarantine. A pandemic will certainly not prevent the return to old habits but uh, increasingly uh, restrictive laws and targeted education in the future i think is the only solution logically this pandemic caused serious health and economic problems but i see a lot of positivity mainly in the era of sustainability and slow fashion and for me as the value of craftsmanship and yeah, finally new technology I see a total digital transformation of fashion I think that um, artificial intelligence and 3D digital experience will become a new language um, and also I think with more transparent communication represented for example by blockchain first change will concern um, fast fashion. This situation brought to light environmental problem, um, showing what the priority are. I think that during uh, this month we live in a world made by picture, so what we want is unique garments that tell a story for who see them. So I think that Today, concept has become more important than silhouette. From uh, our Eurocentric uh, point of view, we are always uh, uh, led to think uh, positively about uh, um, the future implication, but uh, we are conscious of uh, existence of many uh, small companies, uh, in Italy especially, because uh, it's uh, full of uh, small or medium uh, companies in our trade that uh, have been uh, forced uh, to close uh, their doors. The great dream will be uh, stop the fast fashion system or at least uh, find a compromises uh, uh, between multinationals and the governments for um, protect uh, uh, people uh, who work in this trade and environment. My generation is uh, very strong on this way. We will fight against uh, fast fashion and I think it uh, before and after uh, Covid emergency. Finally, for fashion system, I think uh, that we never need 10 collections higher. We need to look uh, um, for a logic of quality, not uh, a logic of uh, profits. Because uh, if you work, uh, work only for um, money, you don't I know that many institutes are organizing to share their financial online via video or live streaming. Considering, however, the fact that most people can draw on the show content exclusively through live streaming or video. I think that beyond the displeasure that parodying without the, the live audition could provoke on a national and international social level, it would uh, not change, at least if we are talking in a visual level. The digital solution that fashion schools are taking is a real thing and I mean it's a perfect putting into practice of a chance, a starting point in continuous development so uh, a current opportunity for a real breakthrough 
and also my school um, is doing something in this direction so I'm, I'm happy and glad to be part of this uh, revolution. Question number six. Light, sound, sensation, preparation, the people around you, however social as Instagram give prominence and are an excellent solution for the live and the EGTV, they will never be able to replace the emotion that you feel like during uh, the final show. That's what I think, but uh, and say that I express the only negative side of a practice uh, that in my opinion will be become increasingly uh, widespread uh, even during a fashion show and technology will allow to give light at ways of conceiving a fashion show different from a traditional one we know. Um, I imagine the possibilities uh, uh, of not only seeing the dress itself but also everything behind uh, uh, this uh, such as the design, uh, the starting mood but also around it uh, as people and its possibilities. In my university we are working to present the project via single video uh, during an event and uh, I'm happy about it but uh, I will be more happy if something special and physically uh, will be organized uh, for September, I hope. <laughs> so I believe that digital is the new future of tomorrow's fashion. So I'm extremely positive about this change and this case how fashion schools are placing on technology. But I believe that it's two chance solely investing on this new form of education. I still don't know much about this solution. I think that almost all the university will support the students' final work throughout the um, online fashion show, video and other social continents. I think that also my university will do the same. We want to postpone everything until September, but nothing can be certain by now, so. For uh, what I think about the digital solution that uh, some fashion schools are taking for the fi their financial, we like uh, fashion students uh, already watch uh, a fashion show on uh, streaming online uh, except a rare, uh, very rare case so for me as well as uh, my friends of uh, fashion you have uh, we hope uh, in september in an uh, improvement of the situation and our teacher hope uh, with us we want a cat wall just for us, just for our final collections. We work so hard. Uh, a little preview of my final collections. So. I am damned both realistic and optimistic as well as pessimistic too. So I feel like answering 10 or 5 and Zero. <laughs> Low. I feel I can give more than lots of people, but less of others. What I can say about my future now is I will do my best always to succeed and make my future teams win. And uh, for my future, I have to be positive and believe in myself, so maybe seven. <laughs> I realize uh, for my future I have to be positive and believe in myself, so maybe seven. <laughs> Question number seven. So there seems to be a place for everyone in this world and just for these uh, six. <laughs> taking on more strength than myself. We are witnessing a new paradigm shift and we are seeing a mutation of social relationship and consecutively the language of fashion system. 
I always see the glass half full also when there's no water. I am a positive person and I hope for an happy ending for this situation. Um, I think that uh, after a period of lockdown there's always uh, a renaissance. From uh, a scale to 1 to 10, how positive do you feel about uh, your future? Hmm, one million questions. I'd say seven. Uh, as a citizen of uh, the world, as a worker of this world, as a, a designer of this planet, I think... Uh, that uh, we have the opportunity to remedy of uh, our mistake. Why don't try? My last academic year started with a very difficult internship on a mental level and a working level too. Three months of uh, in a product development department of a very famous fashion production service which for correctness I avoid mentioning despite having had the opportunity to learn how the realization of an industrial garment works as well as having improved my ability to conceive and design garment I feel I have not given enough so in this final part of the year in view of a hypothetical final show not yet precisely established. I'm trying to give all myself into the work that I'm doing. I realize that everything I've done in these months working from home is strictly personal, very intimate. The worries could be that what seemed difficult to understand, I recall that none of that I've done would have been the same in a different situation, so I'm happy for what I've done, knowing that at school I could have done more but it would have taken a very different path, so maybe I'm glad that the project took this particular direction. Question number eight. So, uh, I don't think I can do it sincerely because in short, I spent the first semester in Korea, in the capital Seoul, and it was absurd. I missed my life there a lot. My friend, my job, everything, and I had a lot of experiences and uh, learned the basic also of a new language that is Korean. And about the quarantine, the second semester, it uh, wasn't uh, heavy for me. I just took it with the philosophy and uh, I dedicated myself to doing more things than I could have done if I had been to university. It's true. And uh, I'm an introvert and dreamy based person as well as I'm a traveler and curious. So for this reason, uh, planning my final collection, studying, uh, wasting time uh, at random in complete solitude under the cover of my bed for a month had been as crazy as for others dramatic. Uh, if uh, someone asks me, uh, I think I will do it uh, all over again because uh, it was uh, a year very, very special, crazy, and dramatic, uh, difficult. So that's all. The last year of education is very demanding moments, in particular with this new situation that has changed many ways of learning. But I believe that this pandemic has proved that you look and listen with more simplicity, more authenticity, and yeah, this is a great lesson that made me think a lot. And I think, yeah, I think that our generation must represent the change for a new and better system that doesn't not look at quantity but quality of human relationship. A difficult year for me for personal reason and for the pandemic but at the end I found the right way to move on uh, all of us uh, had their own expectation about this semester we looked forward uh, the um, final collection the 
fashion show but I think that um, if uh, on one side we didn't have uh, the same uh, opportunity of the last year students uh, to the, the other side we are working uh, on our final collection with more serenity less anxiety uh, without competition and without uh, other external uh, um, influence so I think that we are alone in our world and I love it so describe your feelings and emotion during the last year <laughs> well uh, um, the first six months of my last uh, year in UAV, I was in stage. I have been in Naples to discover the secrets of uh, men's tailoring. I had not been back uh, uh, to university for uh, COVID, and uh, I miss everything of. Uh, this place because uh, it's uh, a magic place uh, warehouse 7 is uh, the head office uh, of uh, fashion Luab in venice and uh, i like uh, to think uh, this place uh, like um, a matthew barney uh, gestation space uh, like uh, in cray master in the university years I did a radical transformation, it uh, had been like a space-time uh, journey of personal evolution. Now I feel a great uh, void inside me, but at the same time uh, I need to project, to design, I desire to work, to make uh, new experience. Uh, and uh, I feel uh, a great uh, 